All right, House of Black versus Death, Tri Death Triangle. Excuse me. These are two very, very good tag teams. Especially when you consider they haven't had an abnormally large amount of time matches together as partners. No, certainly not. I mean, uh, as you mentioned, the, the normal tag team configuration for Death Triangle was Penta and his brother Ray Fenix. Made the tag. Malachi, though. Oh, Malachi takes tag. down Pentagon. Yeah, a blind tag is what it was, and here he comes. Malachi, Malachi Black reverses. Pack is with an elbow. Pack and Malachi teeing off on one another. Oh, Malachi with that jump to me. Hard shot that found his home on a cold night in the Windy City. Pack. Wild swing, but Malachi, the speed and those kicks with perpetual motion. Malachi Black. Malachi with that knee. One, two. Pack kiss out. Malachi once again, the sliding knee strike. He's unbelievable, man. Offers again. Ooh. Just great flexibility with uh, Malachi Black. From a variety of offensive positions, he's able to deliver what he needs to deliver. Very creative. But the toughness of Pat on display, able to absorb those shots from that Dutch Muay Thai practitioner. And now, release German suplex by the bastard. He's got Malachi all hooked up. Oh, brain buster. Brain buster. Pack floats over. Two. Two. Oh, Ooh, Brody King breaks it up. Oh, Pentagon with a super kick. Oh, no, Brody King no sells it. Brody King just ate that shot for lunch. And now he and Penta teeing off on one another. Brody is so much bigger than most anyone else in the ring. I mean, look how. And look how he can move. Very athletic. He just floated over that. Oh. Pentagon with that kick. Now Penta takes out Brody King on the outside. Fans appreciated the effort and athleticism by these four men. Penta, he's not done there. Oh! Floats over the top and crashes on Brody. Zero fear. Zero gravity. Let's see. But remember, the legal men are still Malachi Black and the bastard, Pack. Malachi put himself up in the corner. Pack, he's been waiting for months to get his hands on Malachi Black for his chance at revenge. And it is coming up right here. Malachi, though, elevates over. Oh, Pentagon super kick. kick Pack super kick. kick. Pack. Malachi, big time trouble here. Tag made fresh man coming in. Great pacing. All right, Pentagon looking for that fear factor. Looking for the fear factor. Oh! Set off the top rope. Oh! Malachi Black with that Mr. Pentagon's face. One, two, three. Pretty solid match. Yeah, a pretty solid match between those two teams, man. Um, you know, Pentagon, Pack, Malachi Black, and Brody King doing what they do best. But, uh, yeah, man, this was a solid wrestling match. Nothing too crazy. Again, you know, like I said, nothing too crazy. Uh, hopefully Ray Phoenix comes back. Uh, uh he's he's supposed to be back like middle of February, so. Hopefully before the month is over, we get we get our boy Ray Phoenix back. So yeah, man. And it looks like this. Hopefully, this pack and Malachi Black feud can end pretty soon. Cause after Revolution, I'm no I'm no longer gonna be interested in seeing it no more. So hopefully we get the one on one match between Pack and Malachi Black at Revolution, and then yeah. But after Revolution, I won't be interested in seeing this stuff anymore. Uh, Pentagon Phoenix, Santana Ortiz, that should be the big tag team rivalry of 2022 if things work out. So, yeah. And Pac should be moving on to... He really needs to get back in that main event, in the main event scene. Before, like, like he was before the pandemic hit. So, he needs to get in that 
main event title contention with TNT title contention. So yeah, hopefully he can get those travel issues sorted out. So yeah.